Lori and I were looking for, we found at the Winnipeg Folk Festival. Family fun for all ages at bargain prices. Times are changing. The range of musical talent has expanded to include everything from Afro-Caribbean to Texas swing. The children's play area is a complimentary activity for parents with young children. And the Crafts Village and ethnic food counters added an international flavor. But the main attraction for the 39,000 people who attended was still the music. In Memphis, as good as her around. I lost my gal from Memphis, and that's why I feel low down. Baby, deal, deal, deal. That's why I feel low down. I've enjoyed this type of music. Uh, I've got two youngsters here and friends of ours, and we, we come, I guess, basically for a combination of having fun for ourselves and fun for our youngsters. How uh, old are your children? Oh, David's four and Megan's seven. Sure. Have they been over in the children's activity area? Well, we've seen Raffi so far, and uh, we've, we've seen some of the puppet shows, and right now they're, I think they're with my wife and, and her friend, and they're doing uh, some of the arts and crafts, and uh, it's really a full day. Oh, it's a super day, isn't it? Is that your own chest hair, or did you buy that just to show off here today? I bought that just to show off today. I thought you had. But... Can you tell me what you like about the folk festival? We can't hear this kind of music on the radio at home, and this is the only place we can. It's our third year here. We're from Mankato, Minnesota, and we travel all the way down here and camp. Are you here to see anything uh, in particular, any particular group, or is it just the whole thing? It's the whole scene, seeing friends from uh, all across Canada come back, yeah. meet people from the States. Great summer. Yeah, it's a super day. I notice you don't have a tan. Why is that? Well, I'm trying to uh, make sure I can last through tomorrow. So I've got uh, number 17 uh, Pab on, and <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself as white as possible so I can enjoy tomorrow too. We come from Switzerland. Fabulous. From Bern, from Bern in Switzerland. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you hear about the folk festival uh, that far away, no. or does it just happen to... Actually, I just uh, heard it here that we came to fr visit friends in Winnipeg, and uh, so we heard that it would be a festival. Are you enjoying it? Yes, very much, very much. You look like you should be in a three-piece suit. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I've been coming out here for about uh, six or seven years. It's kind of a tradition. Do you like the people watching? Oh, yeah. That's the best part. I think it's well organized, for one thing. Uh, this has very impressed me very much, the organization of it. But again, it's just a wide variety of, of uh, kinds of music and uh, just the totality of it all as an atmosphere that I think uh, is very uh, attractive. Do your friends and your children wonder why you're here? <laughs> well, they are. Actually, I have not been able to attract my children to come here, and I think they're really missing a lot. But uh, my wife managed to come this week, and uh, some of my friends have managed to encourage them this year, and uh, I think there will be more of them coming on in future years. <laughs> Uh, simply because of your hat, I have to ask you, did you arrive here by camel today and from how far away? Well, I was in Fort McMurray on Monday, Alberta. You must have a fast camel. No, no, no. <laughs> what exactly are you coming to see? The whole thing. <laughs> exactly, the whole thing. The music, the people, the yeah, food, the yeah, fun. Yeah, are you here for the whole weekend? Yeah. Yeah, well, you look like a wild and crazy sort of guy. Is there anything in specific you'd like to be remembered for after you're all gone? No. <laughs> I think you've accomplished it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Yeah. We're here to hear some good, good folk music, and we're sure getting it. Yeah, we Beautiful. sure are. Beautiful. Where's your long hair and beard? Well, I tell you, this morning I wore a cowboy hat, and that kind of looked ridiculous here, so I took that off. I never could grow a beard, so here we are. I'm just, I'm just, just like I am. How many years have you come to the folk festival? This is my third, Lori. Uh -huh. I really enjoyed it. I'm, I, it's, it's something again, you know. It's we, just fabulous, isn't it? We just don't, uh, we just don't. Anybody who hasn't been here just don't know what they're missing. I went to town on Friday. I met a little girl called Ivy. I uh -huh. thought she was the cute little thing in town. I began to spend my money. She began to call me honey. We stepped into a little joint just to sit down. The craft village would rival any craft's fair going. Handwoven clothes, clay pins, children's wooden toys, leather masks, and hand-cut glass. Enough to tantalize any taste and a great chance to talk directly with the artists. As a very unique and exciting move, the Winnipeg Folk Festival set up an entire program for young children with 16 well-trained volunteers. Clowns and puppeteers led to clay making and children creating their own puppets. And there was even a chance to learn how to juggle. 
There's about 16 different arts and crafts activities, not mentioning Randy Aris' new games workshop. What's the whole point of going to such a great extensive effort for the children? Um, because the children are so very, very important and because they have such a wonderful time and by playing with them and watching them, you have a fabulous time as well. Now I understand you want the parents to come with the children for these activities. Absolutely. Um, I really feel it's important for the children to play with their parents and to that the exchange that's there is, is wonderful. So this is not a daycare center? Oh, by no means. This is a play center. You come here and play and have fun. You like that? It's great. As you can see, Lori, the Winnipeg Folk Festival is another great success. And there are folk festivals like this, maybe a little bit smaller, a little bit larger, all across the country. Oh, they're fantastic. And they're no longer the sort of Woodstock type thing where it's a whole bunch of uh, young people and beards and long hair and that sort of thing. It's a, it's a family affair now with everything from for little kids right up to the, the older generation. And so. it's so well controlled here too. It's kind of nice because it's a very, very relaxed crowd. There's not a lot of rowdies and you can really come and have a good time with your family. Exactly. And you can come and play here too if uh, you're good enough and I am. Have you been asked? Yeah, I was asked. I was asked, but uh, they didn't have enough money. So, you know, I just thought I'd stand here and <laughs> create envy, you know what I mean? Like that? Keep practicing. <laughs>